It is like 5.30 this morning and we are packing up all of our junk, getting ready to head out to Port-au-Prince, I guess. I guess. Hey, Jeremy. Did you sleep at all? Uh, yeah. Adam was a good color. <laughs> Uh, I'm trip again. So far, it's www.larsru.com. Did you get mentioned to Adidas sometime? Twitter.com slash Larsru. Yeah. Oh, well, we got the van, we got the truck, and I guess we got this other van, and we got like all this crazy uh, stuff to fit in there. So, anyway, I think we got like a five hour drive here, so we get loaded up and head out. Then you got these guys over there peeing on the tractor. <laughs> Write your name on the wall. <laughs> Potty breaks. This is sick. Should probably not be recording this. You having any luck, Rhett? Okay, that's just creepy with the video camera. Whoa! That was not cool. Whatever I just stepped in, I hope that's water. Around here, I don't know. And I'm just wearing flip flops. So why, so wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Why were you standing outside the bathroom door with a video camera when I was in there? Uh, you told me that was the shot. But why with the video camera? What? Why with the video camera? Because I was getting these guys. Oh. Ian, everything come out all right? All good. <laughs> all right, well, we have been driving for like, uh, how, what time is it? Um, it is 11, uh, oh, can't see it, there you go. 30 something, so uh, we've been driving for a while and we're taking a little potty break here again and just gonna stretch our legs and walk around a bit kind of a quieter stretch of the road, so driving going fine so far, but uh, we are definitely getting ready to be there, I think. Um, but it's kind of interesting watching all these people drive by because they drive really crazy. So anyway, going fine. And I'm taking pictures of me. I'd forgotten about that. Hello. Hello. I'm taking pictures of you on video. I can't focus. There we go. Hello! Hello! Hello. All the back, baby. It kind of makes sense to drive like Lopez because you can just zip right past people and weave in and out of them. So. It's uh, time for lunch and uh, we're super hungry. And uh, Large here just had uh, orange, right? And a peanut butter honey banana sandwich. And Marco over there is eating a peanut butter and uh, something. Ma Ma peanut butter and mango jelly. Mm. Peanut butter yeah. and mango jelly. Did you just squish the mango in there yourself? No, it's actual mango jelly. Oh, really? In a jar? Yeah. Oh, check right it out. Awesome. So the drive's been going fine, and uh, we're just kind of bored and tired of sitting. At least I am. And, yeah. uh, Five minutes from the border. Yep, we're almost yeah. there. And uh, Apparently we need Thank toilet you. paper. We didn't uh, know we needed that or did more, forgot it or something. Uh, I'm try to save some of this so uh, we're out somewhere else to get some toilet paper, and then in a couple minutes we'll be crossing the border into Haiti, and uh, we'll start looking at the sights, I guess. So, how are you feeling, ma'am? Feeling good. Cool. Tired. Hey, Bobby. Good. How you doing? You're laying down the feet. Don't worry. Feeling great. 
Yeah. We're gonna lay down the beat. You're gonna well, run. But you know, oh, okay. getting excited about getting We're the border. And All right, let's do it. Man. Some lunch. We need a. I brought. I mean, I brought. You're like the sleepy guy on the trip. Been sleeping a lot. We're trying just to. enough to. Have you been sleeping a lot back there? I'm just like. The rest of us are too I'm like in days. You gotta see this guy do his uh, flips. <laughs> Over here. So this is the local entertainment here. And um, I'm sure that for a camera they'll be glad to perform. Se puede hacerlo por él? Okay. Are you ready? You guys don't see this every day. bunch of us and uh, we're all eating awesome mangoes so I'm I, sure I it's all going to be used quite excessively. All right. So I've been down here for about a week and a half doing some setup for you guys and for all the admission teams that are going to be sending in to Haiti and uh, Fong Parzan, Guadalajara, Port-au-Prince proper, Carfu. We prayed this morning asking God to show us a location in Himini that we could mobilize youth teams out of and so God led us into the city and then we just supernaturally were connected with a pastor that's about two miles off the square here that are ministering to Haitian refugees they got a children's home they got a nice uh, complex they're building a house to hold uh, mission teams and if our youth teams were able to use that facility we'd probably be the first ones to use that facility and we're at this building that Adventures in Medicine just uh, built and acquired for um, the house missions teams who come down here in the future. Uh, kind of put them here, let them stay here, and this will kind of be their base for serving. So looks really super nice actually compared to some of the other stuff that you see around here. Kids like being on camera, looks like. Hi. Oh, God. We are at a hospital um, that's kind of funded by U.S. and, uh, let's see right there. And, uh, it's been usually like a waiting of like 300 people waiting to get into this facility to for help and care and so uh, we're here to check it out and visit a little bit. Right now we've got two major ORs, we've got three minor ORs, um, we've done C-sections, we've done deliveries, uh, we have a stroke patient at the moment, um, we have an ICU up and running, we're giving in blood, um, full hospital operation, we've got a pulmonary intensivist. It's the day we pray the Lord, so give Him glory. Uh, thank Him for all He does for us, for the Asian people. Even if there's some who's dying, but we, we just this morning prayed him about three or two hours, I don't remember exactly. We did it this morning and all around. All the people here. All the people here. In the hospital. Did prayed it. for two or three hours. Yeah. Even the nurses participate. They all yeah. prayed together. They all prayed together. That is awesome. Yeah. Rudy, you're awesome. Yeah. That's, uh, that's very encouraging. Yeah. leads into Haiti and it's kind of pretty but it's like 
<laughs> bumpy and rocky next to this really big mountain. And the baby that was on my right side uh, gave three. Uh, what is it? No. Uh, he breathed it twice, three times. And the one that was on the left, uh, kind of uh, his body, uh, this, uh, broke down in three pieces. Yeah. Well, I heard that I thought it was only in my house that it was happening. Well, I was, there was a family nearby. I heard him say, I heard him say, Jesus save me, Jesus save me. And I did the same too. When I saw that the children were dead, I said, God, what am I going to do? But I was suffering a lot. Somebody had uh, came by and took, thinking that it was his own child and took one away. So we're here at a church uh, compound. Uh, it's acting like a hospital. Well, it's, it's a gynecologist usually, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can see some of it over there, uh, back over there. But, uh, um, we just talked to a couple of people, one lady who, uh, lost both her kids in the earthquake and lost all feeling in one of her legs and they're trying to restore that and heal that and, um, uh, apparently though this place has been not only a a medical refuge for a lot of people but um, I'll show you around here that earlier today they had about 6,000 people from what I understand uh, for about uh, five or six hours just standing around in here praying and fasting for Haiti so we missed it but that would have been a pretty incredible thing to see um, all around here thousands of people so uh, so yeah, it was a little uh, still processing what I'm thinking and feeling and seeing here. Uh, last place we were at one hospital was just a big tent, and there one guy we talked to was full of hope. Here, um, uh, one lady felt, felt kind of numb, <laughs> and the other and the, her husband was just really really crying. So we prayed for him, um, but it was definitely difficult. It's kind of like you don't even really know what to say or how to help them because. What do you say to someone? I don't know. I don't, if I lost my little girl and they just died in my arms, all stuff collapsed on them, I don't. I think I'd be a pretty big mess. So uh, I think we're gonna move from here in the rest of in the Port-au-Prince, and uh, I think that's where we're we'll spending the evening. So anyway, it's been kind of tough, but uh, it's what were the stories we're seeing? <laughs> E 
Miguel. I typically go counterclockwise okay. um, on the bottom and <laughs> clockwise on the top. And now I'm really self-conscious about that. I don't know why I do it that way. But it's a little freaky. It, it is. We yeah. had an excellent dinner. Uh, this guy right here, an excellent Ooh. chef. Uh, we had a uh, salad and some fried chicken. And we had spaghetti and amazing pineapple. It's like the best pineapple I think I've had in like a super long time. Is that from here? or? Yeah. That, man, that stuff was amazing. They imported it from there. So Lars and I are doing dishes along with some other people. We're gonna clean up, and then we're gonna do our blogging, and then uh, go to bed. Is that after that? So it feels a lot later than it is. It's only uh, eight oh seven, but it feels kind of closer to like. Uh, what would you say, Lars? Midnight. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say about eleven. Yeah, yeah it feels closer to eleven. So we just had dinner, and we're getting ready to wrap up the evening. It's been a really roller coaster day um, we drove for hours in the car so that was kind of a long ride but um, we started talking to people who have been have stories from the earthquake and we started meeting people who are in hospitals and past lots of pastors Ames got tons of connections I don't know how they do all, all those connections but and how who manages them but the, lots of pastors we connected with here in the area and um, it was up and down. Some people were just very extremely hopeful and had a lot of um, energy and excitement about their future. Other people were just devastated. Another guy, he's actually he's a young pastor about my age, and his wife died leaving all. Uh, they had like five kids, I think, behind. So that was a really tough story to hear. So it's a great mix here but um, of hope. and I don't know. I, tomorrow we're going to go actually into Port-au-Prince to, to ground zero. And I'm sure the destruction we'll see there is much worse than we've ha than we've seen here. Um, so uh, tonight we're staying at the little Mennonite compound. Uh, it's a nice place and uh, had good food. And so anyway, we're trying to get a good night's sleep tonight because we're all really exhausted. Uh, in fact, we feel like we're just like in the middle of the night. But anyway, so it's been a good day, and I look forward to keeping you guys updated uh, tomorrow. My cell phone doesn't work here, so I won't be doing Twitter and stuff as much. I'll be at grabbing Adam McLean's phone from time to time to send a tweet, but uh, my phone only works in the Dominican Republic, so I'm kind of out of luck here, unfortunately. So anyway, uh, I'm going to put this online and go to bed. See you guys.